Camp Nano Reflections, Summer Road Trips, and Babies. That's what I have in store for you in today's update. So if you want to see how all of those go together, stay tuned. Hey there everyone, I'm Emily Harris. Welcome back. Um, welcome if you're new. I am a steamy historical romance reader and writer. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about what everyone is talking about, which is Camp NaNoWriMo. It is already July 7th, so we are a week into it already. And initially I wanted to try doing camp because I really enjoyed it back in April and I actually just totally completely finished the project that I started in April and wanted to get back to work on the next book which is actually the final book in my current series. However, I got word from my sister that she would be able to bring my nieces out to see me and that kind of developed into a broader plan of let's spend some time here and then go visit our brother and his two two little girls up in Portland and it became a whole three week long thing which is about to start next on this Saturday. So knowing that my nieces are very um, how shall we say it? They are very labor intensive in as far as how much attention they desire. <laughs> and mind you, my eldest niece is eight years old. So they just get smaller from there and the attention does not wane for any of them. <laughs> so knowing that, I already know that any time spent with my nieces is not going to be work time. And honestly, I don't want it to be. I enjoy having the time with them and I enjoy my entire world revolving around them when we're together and I will just be happy with that. That said, however, I don't want to totally give up the idea of working this month on my book because I do want to get rolling on that to get it out within this quarter, hopefully. So, I decided to go back and look at my numbers from the last book. Remember, Camp Nano in April got me to finally start sitting and keeping track of what I was doing with my book and where my hours were going. So I have that here in my planner. and. I have the full tally. You recall that it took about 10, no, yeah, 10 days, which would be 20 hours to write the first draft. So add to that another 84 hours for all of the editing, uh, proofreading, and, and small edits. So first it was major edits, then it was small edits, and a couple rounds of proofread. So, and all of that, so 80, 90, 100, little over 100 hours spread out over three months. And I am actually not too happy with that because it shows I was inefficient with my time. Somewhat. I have to go back and look at it and see how many hours I put into the marketing and admin side of this author thing that I do because that sucks up a lot of my time. Probably whatever I put into actual writing work, I probably put at least that amount also into admin and marketing. So I still think I could have done better because I know there were a couple of weeks in there after I completed the first draft of my book where I didn't touch it again. I didn't feel like it didn't want to and I just let it sit. So I might have done something more productive with that time. I did start on this next book and that's when I got about a quarter of the book kind of drafted and pre-done. So it wasn't totally wasted time, but I do think I lost something in the editing 
proportion as far as efficiency goes. Because if you'll remember, my feeling of efficiency went steadily down as of the second half of the book. I just did not have enough detail straight in my head to get it all kind of put together nicely. And that showed. By the time I got to the second half in my actual editing, I basically had to rewrite the entire second half of the book. That's why it took 60 hours just to do the first run edits. Um, part of it wasn't written, part of it had changed drastically, I needed to revamp everything, and that was not a fun process for me. I do not want to repeat that. So, I think I'm going to figure out a way to monitor this next book, tweak a few things, go back to my old sy system, <laughs> my old system of outlining as I go, and I think what I'll do is outline one quarter at a time, because I work in a four act kind of a plot versus three acts. So one act at a time, get that written out at, at the very least in a reasonable rough draft, then spend a certain amount of time, I have to limit it or I will go overboard on this, but spend maybe two, three days on outlining the next act because I, I do have the overall story already outlined. I just don't have the details. So spend a couple of days getting the details plugged in and then go back to drafting, draft the next one and, and kind of split it up like that. I think that's what I want to do for this next one. That said, I think if I have time during the next three weeks of hanging with my babies, then that's what I'm mostly going to focus on. If I can find some quiet time, which I may in the final week, if I end up up by my parents and not completely with the babies, I may have a few hours that I can try to dictate some of the book. And other than that, I think I'm going to try to just steal bits and pieces of time here and there to sketch out ideas and do that. So basically what I'm getting at is this is my Camp NaNoWriMo anti-plan. I am going to plan nothing official, but I am going to hope that I serendipitously get at least a bit of outlining, a little bit more detail, maybe some, maybe I can work on some of the scenes I already have, getting them prettied up. So I'm going to hope to get something done, but there is nothing officially planned. And that is what I'm going to do for Camp NaNoWriMo. And at the end of the month, or actually the beginning of next month, because I don't get back until August 1st, I will try to put together a video and let you know how it went. In the meantime, luckily, I thought ahead and I did pre-plan, pre-record some videos for this month, which I hope you will enjoy. I've got a my very first trivial tidbit coming up. I hope you enjoy those because I would like to do more of them. There is an author review, one of my favorite authors also coming up and then I still need to do one more author inspiration video which I have an idea for but I'm not sure yet what I want uh, if I'm going to do that one or not so that's what's coming up and I will leave it at that I hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful July and I will be getting back in touch with you after Camp Nano to let you know how it went Thanks very much for joining me. If you enjoy my videos, please do take a look through uh, while I'm away. See which ones you like. Give them all thumbs up if you like them. Subscribe if you feel like it. And have a great summer. I'll talk to you later. Till then, happy reading.